Hi everybody and welcome to today's sunset watercolour ocean painting tutorial. After seeing the ocean a few weeks ago for the first time in over a year, I've been really inspired to do this painting tutorial just to commemorate my love of the ocean. So to jump right in, I'm getting some washi tape and just taping off the edges of my sketchbook. That way, when you've finished your painting, you can reveal the beautiful, straight, clean white edges. I've got my colour swatches here so I know what the colours are going to look like on the page. And I'm going to take some yellow to begin with. This is just a really light yellow. And at this point, I'm mostly just going to be using water. So a little bit of pigment but just a lot of water on the page so that it blends really nicely. I'll link to the materials in the description box so you know exactly what materials I'm using. And I just want to keep it really free and fluid, so don't worry if yours doesn't go exactly like this. I just want to really encourage you to have a play with the colours and not be scared of them. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of blue mixed with a lot of water and just taking that down from the sky. Again, you can't really see a lot of the pigment because I've just used a tiny bit and at this point just lots of water to blend it out. I like to use a lot of water with watercolours because I feel like that is what it does best. Watercolours are great for having those gorgeous little accidents that when they dry just you couldn't have done that on purpose if you'd have tried so that's what I really love about watercolours and I think we should celebrate that by using a lot of water with them. But you can also use them uh, very neatly if that's something that you prefer to do. So with watercolours we want to start off with the lighter colours and then bring in the darks so that's why I've started with yellow and now I'm just taking in a bit of that reddy orange colour and hopefully that will blend really nicely with the yellows and I'm just going to sort of bring that up from the horizon. And of course because this is a seascape I'm going to have the reflections in the water because it's the ocean and you want to mirror whatever's in that beautiful sunset sky, you want to mirror that in the ocean as well. So I've just waited for that first layer to dry and now I'm going to bring in some blues. The reason why you want to wait for that to dry is because obviously blue and yellow mixed together makes green. So you don't want a green sky. Well, a little bit of green is okay. <laughs> but you really want to wait for that yellow to dry before you bring in the blues over the top. So I want this to be really vibrant. So I'm bringing in the blue right from the top and just blending that down. And I'm just going to keep on adding that pigment just to get it really vibrant. And of course, because we're mirroring uh, whatever's in the sky, I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And this is where you can just use your brush to sort of let it decide for you where the strokes are going to go. You can see that that bit is not fully dry, which is why it's turning slightly green. But that's not too worrying because it is the sea after all. A great way to bring your eye into the painting as well is to do the corners and the sides um, a little bit darker colours and that really draws your eye in the middle of the painting and sort of like sucks you in. And at this point all our paintings will probably look slightly different and that's what I absolutely love about watercolour is that you just have to let it take over so don't worry too much if they're not looking the same just go with it and trust your gut instinct. So I'm using this watercolour a little bit more neat so a little bit less water more pigment 
to really bring in the vibrancy of that yellow. And I'm going to pop some of that in the sky as well and just blend that out. So I'm going to take some richer darker blues now. I'm going to add a little bit of orange in with that blue and that will just take the tone down slightly. So it's not as vibrant but it's a little bit more duller and darker. And I'm going to start bringing in those edges and bring down the cloud and that's going to bring a really nice contrast with those bright white colors. Also if you don't want this to blend make sure that your first layer is like fully dry right now. And this can feel a little bit scary because when you're painting over what you've already done if you already like what you've done it's a little bit daunting to then go and paint such a dark colour over the top of it but at the same time it's the contrast that makes things pop so when you've got a really light colour or a really bright colour next to a really dark dull colour that's what makes it zing and that's what draws your eye directly to it and look if it goes wrong then you can just do it again and have double the amount of fun I like to think that whenever something goes wrong with a painting actually all that's happening is I'm learning something and that's necessary to get better so welcome mistakes because that means that we're learning something as well So I'm just going to mirror that in the ocean again, making more of that bluey orange colour. And if you're not confident with colour mixing, feel free to have a little bit of paper at the side of you to practice your colours on first. And this is why a brush like this is great to use for watercolours because you can either have a very big bold brush stroke if you press the brush down hard and use the whole of the brush or if you just want small details you can press on a lot lighter and just use the very tip of the paintbrush and that can give you smaller lines. So you can just have one brush for everything basically. And feel free to use reference photos as well for the clouds because clouds can be difficult just to make up on the spot. So feel free to just download a picture of some clouds and just to copy their formation. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some brighter oranges again because the sky is very yellow and I want it to be a sunset. So I'm gonna add in some of that orange and because orange and blue are opposite colors on the color wheel, they really pop together and create that really great contrast. So I'm gonna bring in some of those more orangey red tones. So I realized I've put a little bit too much pigment down where I wanted the sun to be. <laughs> so I've just taken some of that off and I'm actually gonna go in with some acrylic white paint. I mean, in the watercolor world, this is a sin. <laughs> and you will, you know, be severely told off about it. But I just think art materials are there to use however you wanna use them, so. Whatever, this is a mixed media painting. Let's just call it that now. But I just think if you enjoy your practice with freedom, knowing you can correct mistakes, then I think you enjoy it a lot more. So I'm just adding in a little bit of some more highlights with some acrylic paint at the end. Okay, and there we go, it's finished. So I hope that you guys really enjoy painting along with me. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments, what tutorials would you like next? So feel free to check out my playlist of painting tutorials. There's tons on there for you to check out and I'll see you soon, bye.